All the police cars are pretty much the same. The new ones are the black and white ones. The white ones are the older ones, so they're getting phased out. So it's, we get new cars every year. They all look like this one. Um, all the smart cars have hard plastic seats in the back with the cutout. They're not very comfortable to sit in, but they're easier for us to know that if the bad guy's trying to hide something, there's nowhere to put it because they're just going to sit on it. So every time we have somebody in the back seat, we always make sure there's nothing in there when we put them in and there's nothing supposed to be there when we take them out. So that way if we find something in there, we go, it belongs to you. No matter, no matter how much they deny it, we're like, we search the car when we start our day, we search our car before we put it in, somebody in there, and that way you can say, this contraband belongs to you, you know, whatever it is. So then we get charged for having somebody else that we're not supposed to have. Um, it's also easier to clean. Sometimes they're dirty. You have people that get sick in the car sometimes, so. We share cars. And we don't, we don't like the state police and the county police, they each have their own personal car that you see in their driveway. We don't have enough money in town to give everybody their own police car. So, um, so we share cars here. So it's like, you know, we, we give each other a hard time. Like if I get in the car and it's all dirty, some officers who get in a dirty car, they'll find out who had it before them and they'll take all the trash and put it in that guy's briefcase. So. <laughs> So, we try to keep our cars clean. Sometimes some people are better than others, but for most part, we share cars now. So inside the cars, they're all pretty much the same. They'll have the hard plastic back seat. All our cars have computers inside of them now. That way, if we stop somebody for speeding, we can run their license, make sure their license is valid, that they're allowed to drive. We also check to make sure they, they're not wanted for breaking any laws. Um, if we have somebody that just isn't acting right, we can see if they've got history like if you think we stop something who's like a drug trafficker we can see if they've got a drug history and then you know we can do a little more investigative from that 